Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial overview of the new self-service password management solution provided by Bluefield College. In this video, we will look at the following items. What is the self-service password manager and what is its purpose? How do you register your account? And what functions do you have once you have registered? Let's first take a look at why we have implemented a self-service password manager here at Bluefield College. There, currently, there are three distinct login systems that are utilized by the different solutions here at Bluefield. The first is our network logon service. This service authenticates all on-campus computers, dorm networks services, faculty and staff personal devices, Wi-Fi, students Wi-Fi networks, and the library databases. Second, we have MyBC, which has its own built-in login database. And third, we have Office 365, your email and other Office solutions, which again has its own login database. Of these three solutions, the only service that easily allows password to reset by students or other users is MyBC. The self-service password manager allows us to have a new single location that all users will be able to manage their logon account on the network login service. This ability has been unavailable to users that are not on the main campus. Both solutions of MyBC and Office 365 are able, once we configure them, to use this logon service as well. However, we must provide use this, service, this password management service to provide you the access to reset your account information here. Now, let's register. To register with the self-service password management solution here at Blue Hill College, you will need to go to the URL https colon slash slash myid.bluefield.edu slash pmuser. This link will be also be located under the My Account Information on MyBC as well as another Quick Links sections on MyBC so that you will be able to come back and manage your accounts and passwords as you need to. Once we get to the site to register our account, you will need to type, you will need to find your username. The easiest way to do this is simply come here to the search field and search for your username or the beginning of your Bluefield email address. For this particular demonstration, we will be using Victor E. Ram as a student. So for his username would be his first initial, V, middle initial, E, and his last name, Ram. We will then fill in the CAPTCHA box to verify that we are in fact not some sort of web crawler or web bot. So here, and we will click search. We will just notice that we find the user's name right here. We will again fill in the capture box. And once this is done, we can click on this, on Victor E. Ram's name. Now, if you do not know your user ID, you can simply use your last name and do a search that way. You may find additional other accounts at this point. Just locate yours, fill in the capture, and we will click the name. You will see here that you have two, an option to, re to create your My Questions and Answers profile. This is the first step that you need to do. First, we will go into My Questions and Answers. We will enter your password. I had the wrong one. Once the password is entered, click Next. You will then be presented with this information to accept this particular. The terms here that we are agreeing to are simply that the answers you provide in the questions and answers profile will be stored in a way that can also be looked up by some users here on Bluefield College that you may contact should you be locked out of your system or locked out of your account. So here is the questions and answers page. You, these are the challenge questions that you will answer. You will come down here, you will have several questions that you may answer. The first three are mandatory. The second three, you get to choose the two questions you wish. And the third option here, you get to choose, create your own question. These three questions here at the bottom are for the help desk. Should you contact anyone here at the college, preferably in IT or within BC Central, and ask them to help you reset your password or reset to be able to get into update this profile, these are the questions that they will be looking at that when they will ask you to verify for them. 
as you can see here in this section where you select your own question, there are multi a multitude of questions that you can select from. Once you have filled out your questions and press next, you'll be taken to a page where you may return to the home page of the system. You will now notice that you have several new options that have been presented to you. The first option is the forgot my password. Again, once you click it, you will fill in the captcha and click next. Here, you're able to fill in your answers so that you may be able to retrieve or reset your password if it has been forgotten. And let's do this now. Obviously, it's typed one. Now that we have successfully gone through the question, the challenge questions, we are able to enter a new password for our user account. In doing so, you will notice that above this is a description in this particular area of what the password may contain and may not contain and the different requirements for the password. Once we have put a new password in, we will click Next. Oops. And obviously I'm demonstrating here that we do not meet the minimum password requirement of being a minimum of 24 hours or one day old because we have simply reset this here recently. But if your password is older than 24 hours, you will go through, click next, and you will be retaken back to the home page. We will simply click cancel for now. Your next option past this will be to reset my password. Again, you have a captcha that you will fill out. And once you get here, you will have to answer your challenge questions again. And go here to the next page. Oops. And you'll be putting in your old password, followed by your new password for confirmation and con confirming your new password. Let's take a moment to look at the password requirements. They do meet, they are required to meet the minimum complexibility requirements provided by many security standards. The password must meet these system complexibility requirements. They must contain at least one character capitalized A through Z, one character lowercase A through Z lower, lowercase, one numeric 0 through 9, and certain, certain characters are not allowed. However, other special characters such as underscores, dashes, are allowed. They must be a minimum of 8 characters long. They must be at least 24 hours long. Your password will expire every year, 365 days, and you may not repeat a password more than two times. Since we are currently within our one day limit at this point, we will and click cancel here. And we will look at the final section that you currently have an option for, which is my notifications. Under my notifications, you may select why you may receive an email from this system. Here, the most important one is always to notify me when my password is about to expire so that you do get a notice before your password expires. You will notice that you currently have one disabled task, and that is I have a passcode. The passcode is when you need to contact the help desk. Once you contact the help desk, you, they will be able to provide you with a passcode that you can insert here to update your My Questions and Answers profile should you become locked out of it. Once you have that, you will be able to go in and open up your account by either clicking on the Forgot My Password or Reset My Password options. At this point, we have gone through the help desk process. We have contacted someone at Bluefield College. They have asked us one of the questions that we answered that, are, that was part of the help desk questions in the My Questions and Answer profile. They have verified our identity with this challenge question and have issued us a passcode. So we will now go to I have a passcode. 
we will fill in the captcha. Click next and enter the passcode that was provided to us, which is QMC6 1IG7. We'll click next. Now, in each case, that passcode will be unique to each individual caller and it will only last for 90 minutes or one and a half hours. That gives you 90 minutes to go in and update your questions and answers profile. As you see here, we are now back into our questions and answers profile using the passcode to be able to update it. We will now click next and return to the home page. Now that you have updated your questions and answers profile, you can go in to either forgot my password or reset my password now knowing the correct answers to your questions and reset your account information. As we have stated, this will update and work with your MyBC, your Office 365, library database login accounts, as well as other accounts here on campus. All of these accounts will be almost instantaneous once you've reset your password here, with the exception of Office 365, which will have approximately a 10 to 15 minute time delay before the password is updated going through this system. We hope this video has helped you to register your account with the Self-Service Password Manager at Bluefield College and that you now have an understanding of how to use this system to maintain your passwords. Thank you and have a wonderful day.